Hey folks, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Phone Central and once again here with the Lumia 610. Just want to show you quickly the whole Skype thing, what that's all about. As you probably followed our stories, Skype does run the 610, then it doesn't run on the 610. We're going to show you actually what the experience is like. Here we are, Windows Phone Marketplace, there is Skype. So it is listed there, as you can probably see right here, it gives you a little warning. I'll kind of zoom in there so you can maybe read it better. It says this application is not available for your device. Press here for more info. When you tap that, you get this little message that specifically says, the application requires a phone with more RAM than the Nokia Lumia 610, and that's the end of the story. That's it for Skype on the 610, at least officially speaking. Now, unofficially, you can get it on there, as you'll see right here. So, let's give it a second to refresh. refresh. Uh, there is the Skype app. How did I get it? Okay, so my phone is developer unlocked. You can do this. Of course, it costs $99. This isn't a you know, legitimate or reliable method for most people to do, but I just want to show you, it does technically work. We'll do a Skype test call here. See if we can launch this. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. So we're testing the Skype app. Let's see how well this records. Uh, I'm just doing my voice here. This, I think, is about a 10, 15 second test of the, the recording ability, but it does work. So we're testing the Skype app. Let's see how well this records. Uh, I'm just doing my voice here. Just I think it's about a 10, 15 second test of the, the recording ability, but it does work. If you are able to hear your own voice, then you have configured Skype correctly. If you hear this message, but not your own voice, then some... So you get the idea. So technically it does work. Uh, it even shows up in multitasking why they are not putting it on there. There evidently has to be some sort of performance issues that they're not happy with, but it's sort of odd. It technically does work. I don't really see the harm, I suppose, in putting it on there, but I guess they have quality issues and that's the reason why they're not gonna allow it. Hopefully in version 1.2 of this app, they'll refine it a bit so it can be available on the 610 in the marketplace, but that's what it's like. So unofficially, you can run it. Officially, you can't. That's the status right now, the Lumia 610. Take care, everybody.